Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. Today we're going to practice drawing and interpreting significant resonance structures. Let's practice. Draw the significant resonance structures for the following species. When I start the timer, you will have 10 seconds. If 10 seconds is not long enough, feel free to pause the video. Remember, you can pause the video if you need more time. The best way to make sure we draw all of the significant resonance structures for a molecule or ion is to look for and use the resonance patterns that we have learned about. This molecule contains one resonance pattern, a carbon-oxygen double bond. We can draw an arrow that shows us taking the pair of electrons in the carbon-oxygen pi bond and using it to form a new lone pair on oxygen. The oxygen has a negative charge and the carbon is left with a positive charge. This is a significant resonance structure. We're allowed to have these two charges adjacent because the negative charge is on oxygen and the positive charge is on carbon. It's also okay that the carbon atom has an incomplete octet. Carbon's allowed to do that. Now, on this structure, we have another resonance pattern, a pi bond neighboring a positive charge. So we can draw an arrow to show the lone pair, or I'm sorry, the pair of electrons in the pi bond shifting over a position towards the positive charge. Now, the carbon-carbon pi bond is at a different position on the ring, and the positive charge has moved counterclockwise two spots on the ring. Again, this is a significant resonance structure because carbon can have an incomplete octet and carbon can have a positive charge as long as oxygen has a negative charge. If we had to pick the most significant resonance structure it would be the one on the left where everything has a full octet and there are no formal charges. You might be tempted to draw other structures but those structures are not significant because they would have adjacent formal charges on carbon. Let's do another practice. This problem is a little bit different. Not only am I going to ask you to draw the resonance structures, but we're going to use that information to learn about the structure of this molecule. So draw the significant resonance structures for the amide functional group and use that information to help explain why all of the atoms in formamide, which is the structure shown, are in the same plane. If 10 seconds is not long enough, feel free to pause the video. Remember, you can pause the video if you need more time. First, we should get to drawing those resonance structures, like the question asks us to do. Again, we can follow the resonance patterns to draw the significant resonance structures for formamide. First, we can see that there is a carbon-oxygen double bond, and we can shift the pi bond from carbon to oxygen up onto the oxygen to become a new lone pair leaving the oxygen with a negative formal charge and the carbon with a positive formal charge. We can shift the lone pair from the nitrogen towards that carbon to create a new pi bond and the, the positive charge will move from the carbon to the oxygen or the carbon to the nitrogen. These are the three significant resonance structures for formamide. You might be tempted to, to draw and analyze other resonance structures but they would have incomplete octets on the oxygen or the nitrogen, and so it would not be significant. Remember, the easiest way to draw all the significant resonance structures are to follow the resonance patterns. Now, if we look at that resonance structure on the far right, we can see very clearly that the carbon atom and the nitrogen atom are both sp2 hybridized, which means they have to be trigonal planar. If you can't see that, take a moment and count the groups of electrons around the carbon atom and then do the same for the nitrogen. The carbon atom has three bonds and no lone pairs. Remember, remember for counting geometry or hybridization, single bonds and double bonds are weighted equally. Likewise, the nitrogen has three groups of electrons around it. Three groups means trigonal planar. And because both atoms are trigonal planar, the things connected to them are all in the same plane. Thank you for watching.